yo <laughs> i don't know how to start so this is my first time doing a video like this but i found a video it's called the myth of transphobia and i haven't watched it yet and i'm curious and i'm gonna react to it and uh you are gonna you're gonna you're gonna get my my reaction okay i don't know again hello the latest work of supposed art to occupy the fourth plinth in london's trafalgar square is designed specifically to perpetuate a falsehood. That is to say that transsexuals are the... Firstly, that's not something you should say in... When was this made, actually? Well, let's take a look. Four weeks ago, yeah, that's kind of... It's, like, considered to be offensive in this current era, but we'll let it pass. He's pretty old. No. Oh, yeah, before I say anything, don't go harass this guy. Please. Okay, thank victims you. Victims of something called transphobia. That exists. And that this thank makes you. them more likely to be attacked or even murdered than other people. Yeah, we we all agree. This this is this is happening, right? Yes. Okay. This is quite untrue. <laughs> what the hell? Do I need to get the statistics up? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna keep pausing this. I'm sorry. True, and it's not difficult to see why. The new sculpture, which may be seen in the thumbnail to this video, consists of 726 casts of the faces of transsexuals and so-called non-binary people. So cold. Oh my god. I know I can't expect much from like an old, an elderly individual, but like so cold. This is actually crazy. Okay. Half from Mexico and half from Britain. It is supposed to symbolise the violence directed against such people. That This violence does happen. Let me put it out there. This is happening, guys. And to commemorate the fact, too, that so many women are attacked or even killed, yeah. especially in Mexico. This ties in neatly with the idea in this country that transsexuals are more likely to be attacked or even killed they are. than straight people. There is a one This is not true. And it's easy enough to explain why. <laughs> what does he mean it's not true? I'm sorry. Trans people have a 1 in 12 chance of being murdered. It's literally... Oh my god. Okay. Most people these days couldn't care less if they see somebody who appears to be physically male but is wearing makeup and women's clothes. False. They care a lot. <laughs> the bullying is... Un the, the bullying and the harassment and stuff happens. Surprise! It might have raised eyebrows 50 years ago. These days, not really. I don't say that some old dinosaurs will not mutter or lie me at the sight of such a figure, but they will not launch a furious attack on the individual. They they do though. That's that's the issue here. People are like attacking and harassing and assaulting transgender people. I don't get what he means. I'm so confused. And yet, it is undeniably true that men who identify as women are more likely, statistically, to be beaten up or even murdered. Okay, so I'm so confused. He's saying that. There is no such thing as transphobia, right? And the statue wasn't needed. There's no reason to commemorate, like, these attacks. And the attacks aren't happening. But then he says that men who identify as women, so trans women, are more likely to get harassed and beaten. What? <laughs> what the hell? So, what is going on? What's going on? You tell me. It is true that... A man who wishes for his body to be surgically altered so it is more like that of a woman can yeah. eventually obtain this treatment on the national health. Yeah, usually that's after good. a long wait. But that's only the beginning. It's only a. It's that's only the beginning. Aspect. That's only. There's more. I didn't know there was more than surgery hormones. I didn't. I didn't know that, guys. He's going to explain it to me. Effect of the process. Unless this person wants to go through life looking like a pantomime day, there are many other procedures needed to make him into a convincing female. Don't like that For example, facial hair. 
it's not something most people even think oh, okay. about we'll okay. about transsexuals. Nothing is more of a giveaway for a man trying to pass for a woman than the... I don't like the use of a, a man trying to pass as a woman. So a woman. I'm pausing so much. Oh my god, I'm sorry, sorry. The sight of an unshaven chin. The answer is, of course, facial electrolysis. Yeah. To remove the average grown man's beard happen. entirely, around 150 hours of electrolysis would be required. I don't believe that. About 5 to 15 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we've gotten ourselves a little liar. Or a misinformed guy. No hate. No hate. Some of this will be repeat treatments. Yeah, uh, hair grows back sometimes. Even after hair has been removed in that way, it has a tendency to grow back. Yeah, good. But sometimes good. two or three hundred hours might be necessary. Where is he getting these statistics from? You might, if you're lucky, find somewhere which will do it for £50 an hour. More likely it will be £75 an hour. I want to Google this. Oh. Okay, yeah, that one's probably about right, 450 to 600. Okay, let's continue. See, not all women like to undertake this kind of work on men. So, let's say 150 hours of electrolysis at 75 pounds an hour, which will set Phil? you back something over 11,000 pounds. The highest that came up when I did my little research was six hundred and fifty pounds. Where is Bro getting these statistics from? Where do you think the average man will be able to lay his hands on that sort of money? Woman. <coughs> then there's stuff like surgery to remove the Adam's apple. The Adam's apple. Does that exist? Hold up, I have fact again. Is that a surgery? Okay, yeah, that exists. Had to be sure. Adam's apple, you know, that prominent part of the man's throat, is a dead giveaway. I'm not really, lots of biological really women have. And any man who wants to pass as a woman will have to get rid of it. The technical name for this is a thyroid shave. It he did it, that's right. Seven thousand pounds. I'm not going to fact check that, because that's probably now, about right. Now back to speech therapy. Make the voice higher and softer. Not many people do speech Breast therapy. augmentation, a nose job, a new wardrobe, and so on. We are soon talking twenty, thirty, or forty thousand pounds. Okay, but what does this have to do with the being a myth of transphobia? What does this have to do with transphobia in general? Like this is just talking about how expensive it is to transition. Which is that not a problem, guys? Do we not need to change that? And this is just for the extras. Even after you've had what used to be called a sex change operation. You, okay, used to be. How do you think men finance all this? Women. How would they lay their hands on them? that sort of amount of money? They work! Many of them turn to prostitution. What?! Oh my god. Oh my god. I have never in my life heard that. That's actually crazy. Okay, let's continue. And right away we are entering a lifestyle with the highest risk of being the victim of physical violence in any line of work. I wouldn't say that that's the highest line. There's like, I don't know, police officers, the army. They're, they're pretty high up in like jobs where you can get injured. I don't know what that is. Anyways. That is simply for starters. Okay. Prostitutes, whether natural born women or men or male to female transsexuals, are far more likely to be beaten up or murdered 
than say uh, staff in an Amazon warehouse or someone would. He's got a point. So he's saying that transphobia does exist and that these attacks are happening. So what's the, what's the point of this video if he's saying he starts it by saying it's not happening and then he goes on to prove every single reason why it is happening? <laughs> in an office. It is a dangerous business and the homicide rate of um, prostitutes is at least 30 or 30 times higher than for any other profession. Why are we talking about homicide? Who hurt this man? <laughs> Since Many of the men seeking to change sex go on the game to raise money before they've had any surgery. They try to limit their services to activities short of full penetrative sex. They don't Jaw dropped? Where is he getting his information? What dark web is he... I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. don't really want it to be known that they have penises. The risks here are absolutely enormous because if a male client discovers at some stage that he's actually walking around with another man, violence is almost inevitable. Violence is almost inevitable. You, he said it here first, guys, with a video called The Myth of Transphobia. Trans violence is almost inevitable. What's going on? I'm sorry. I need to calm down. This, then, is why the figures for transsexuals being the victim of attacks are so astronomically high. Okay, yeah. Because those who choose saying. to go on the game are almost certain to be assaulted. These assaults are not an inevitable consequence of being a transsexual, though. What are they a consequence of? If he's talking about how high the rates are for trans people getting assaulted, then he's saying the trans people getting assaulted, it's not because they're trans. What are they getting assaulted for? <laughs> What's going on? They are rather the result of a lifestyle choice made to raise a lot of money in a house. So, where's he getting the information that every trans person who needs to raise money is a prostitute? What's going on? <laughs> okay, we're fine. Can't we? I have a great deal of sympathy for such people. Thanks. But it is absurd to pretend that something called transphobia plays any role at all in the matter. I'm I'm actually in shock. Like Okay. So thanks. Let's have a look at some comments. Oh, oh, we have one. If people want to be trans, let them. I just don't need to see it all over the television. Calling it a phobia, like we'd ever be scared of those clowns? Okay. Correct, it's nonsense. Few of us care about trans people, but millions are sick to death of the constant hectoring about it. They're desperately seeking attention? I have no words, guys. I I give up on everything. Thanks for watching. Again, please don't go, like, interact with that video. Um, do you like this kind of content? I, I like making it. I like yelling at people who annoy me through a screen. And I enjoy sharing my opinion. Bye.